So the big question is this, how these entrepreneurs who started from scratch and had no idea how to sell or market their products or services online and then later on made over 6 figures, 7 figures or even 8 figures became best in their niches and found their dream customers to sell. My name is RJ Ahmed and find this all out in our interviews with entrepreneurs show. I interviewed these entrepreneurs and tried to pick their brain of how they actually did that and how they took their business as well as their life to the next level. This podcast is all about the entrepreneurs who strive so hard to become super awesome in their niches. Welcome to Interviews with Entrepreneurs. Welcome to the exclusive episode of Interviews with Entrepreneurs show where we interview entrepreneurs who are super awesome in their niches. And guys, like today we have an exclusive guest today on our show, which is Fatima. Coach Fatma, I, I must say. So if you don't know who Fatma is, you know, her journey is actually like really great, like super awesome. I saw her when he, she was like kind of initially starting out and she was getting into the space and, you know, she, she started out particularly into affiliate marketing. And, but obviously like when anyone started out, no one knew about who she was. And there were kind of a lot of stereotypes that she broke, you know, which was pretty good. Uh, because of the culture, because of the environment, and it was hard hitting for actually do publishing, especially doing it in video as well. She, uh, you know, kind of like broken all of those stereotypes out there and started to do publish. And it wasn't the only thing that she have done, you know. She started to make, I, I think it, I don't know, like it, it took her like 30 days to make her first $3,000. And she was like, ah, oh, you know, I was like, if you're gonna do it, that's gonna be crazy. And she was like, ah, oh, you know, I've done that in like 30 days, $3,000. And then later on, she made over five thousand dollars in fifty days. And now, like within four months, I think, I think a couple of days back, I saw the post by Sahil, and like she had broken up, like, or by Fatma, like she had broken up like twenty five thousand dollars in like four months. And like four months by the time she started out, and she went on like made that twenty five thousand dollars, which is like crazy, you know. And think about it in this way. I'm gonna get her as well right now, you know. Not gonna talk too much. But think about it in this way. She was doing charter accountancy out there, was about to make like around $80, $80 per month for the internship, which is around 12,000 rupees, which is you know, merely, uh, I don't know like what type of salary that is, but that's reality over here. To making like 25 grand, you know, $25,000 in four months, like crazy. So I'm not gonna talk too much. Uh, I'm gonna get Fatma Tarek. Uh, welcome Fatma. Yo, okay, I've just unmuted you. Welcome, Fatma. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on. Thank you for having me. Yo, okay. So the people who are jumping on live, uh, use hashtag live. The people who are jumping on replay, use hashtag replay. So Fatma, uh, could you like walk through your backstory, like how everything got started for you? Uh, like why I started with the flood marketing? Yeah, but how everything started for you out there from charter accountancy all the way back to affiliate marketing? Okay, uh, so in like at the end of 2020, uh, like we, I, I have to join uh, any firm at that point because I was at the, you know, I, I have to complete my, uh, like my two papers were only left and I have to do a job which was giving us like $80 a month. So at that, that moment, I thought that this is just going to be my hostel fees because I have to shift to Islamabad and uh, because I can't move from like my place to it again on a daily basis because it's 12 hours job on a daily basis. So at that time I thought I should have some other source of income and uh, like I saw an ad about affiliate marketing and I started about, searching about it and uh, in April. And yeah. uh, but, but and it really hit me like I I thought like I can invest in affiliate marketing because it it doesn't require so much investment. So uh, then I started uh, talking to too many people. So where should I start? And I just wanted to find some Pakistani person because I thought I am the only person who is going through uh, you know debut in affiliate marketing marketing and nobody knows about it. Yeah. So uh, then RJ Pandey actually told me that, yeah, RJ, and, and also the uh, issue was that I uh, thought that if I join, then how will I get payment? How will I mm. do uh, different stuff? Because, you know, we have different restrictions here. So 
then he somebody told me about you and then i connected with you and you explained me that this is not a brand new thing people are doing affiliate marketing in pakistan so yeah then that's how i came searching mm-hmm. searching mm-hmm. searching and finally found out yeah yeah 100% and i truly remember you know as you mentioned about that inter- internship and firm and all about like which was on our $80 per month and i remember when when we got on a call and we were discussing about that i was like if that is something that they are giving you in a month you know that is something on the other side of making in a day like think about it in a difference like how crazy it is so like yeah. in the pretty much of about 4 months how you were able to develop your mindset because obviously mindset is the, the most important thing in order to get more authority get more revenue get more people like everything mindset is the most important thing how you were able to develop your mindset in these 4 months to get to where you are at the moment and you're progressing like crazy okay so i started with this actually i knew that this going to work actually i was not sure i don't have that kind of belief at the uh, in the very beginning but i know that i just want 100 or 200 dollars so that i can replace this income i don't want to go 12 hours uh, uh, like i don't want to work in on a daily basis in a mm-hmm. firm uh so with that thing i started uh, you know when i came into this market and i thought and i saw that 1000 2000 dollar is a struggling income like if somebody is making 1000 2000 dollar so they are considered as like they are just starting out and this, this is a small income then i thought like i can play big so mm-hmm. then i started working around that and uh, uh, like with time i started invested investing in multiple stuff so that's how i came this far hmm okay okay that makes that makes a lot of sense so like obviously like within these 4 months uh, a lot of uh, a lot a lot of the things out there have been progressively changed you know like and it's been crazy for for a person as an entrepreneur like a lot of things can be changed like super fast out there in a short amount of time things can be changed like in a lot of different way so like at the moment when you see like new people jumping in and like new people coming in now like trying to make money online like what do you see is the number one mistake specifically they make around affiliate marketing in general they they are not considering learning as the main thing like uh you have to learn certain thing before uh jumping into the thing because we came into i also came in this thing that i have to make money but after that i realized that closing and talking to people it is a skill we don't we can't we don't develop this thing over, overnight so we have to learn this skill and that def- definitely going to make us money so people what uh, people are making mistake nowadays number one that they are skeptical they are just using it as a side uh, income like if if it um you know um like they are using it using it as an option that's why they are struggling with making money online and the other mm. thing is that um they are not following the proper process like they they get like uh they are actually gathering the information in patches something from here something from there so like this is not going to work actually we have to follow some process and this will definitely going to make us money at the end of the day mm, okay so one thing that you said it which is really interesting is they consider it as a side hustle Yeah. and that is actually one of the reason why they are unable to put most of the focus on and like yeah. not able to get things done so like yeah. in terms of all of those things in general out there you know you probably know for the fact that how you produce content is also one of the most crucial thing in order to build your con uh, you know build your audience build your relationship you know also like sell your products and services as well like what type of structure of content do you really believe because i i want people out there who are listening who might be like completely newbie or the people who might be some experts who were might be on the exact same level you are or you know on all different fields i have, i would love to you know have your opinion on that so that you know they might learn few things of here and there so like what type of content structure you believe is something that worked for you in general in within the past four months obviously things been optimized because in the initial start it was like just uh documenting 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 the things that yeah. you were kind of doing, you know doing your full slide and this and this and this and you know kind of like going going with that so like, but still like what type of content structure worked most for you initially in the initial start just to get yourself the kickstart okay so uh number one thing is 
like we can't make content initially very good content like we have to start somewhere what i believe is uh because we have been taught here that you have to make content and people take it as a you know a daily responsibility or daily action plan so when we do that so we try to try to get content from again like we try to copy other people what which actually mm-hmm. worked for me i started to do it like whatever i thought what i am struggling with at that at that moment of time like uh somebody questioned me something or maybe some objection i start making content around that or yeah. uh, yeah. connecting it with my story because we know the rvl formula but we can't imp- we are not going to we don't implement that in a good way that's going to make us money and because people are making content just for facebook engagement or all in their thing and facebook in- engagement this is not going to make us money the we have to connect with our audience at that time i was a student i just uh, and i can i uh, focused my content around that only that i am a student i left my job and that was my story and some student resonate with me and they invested with me, uh, like uh, they invested with me and uh, we started working together in a very first month so that is, because the major problem with affiliate marketers are that is that, that they know different thing that you have to work like avial formula we say the investment thing mindset thing they know different thing and customer over that by definition only yeah. but they don't go there in the in depth and uh, don't they, they don't implement that's why they don't these things don't work like that for them and mm. this and i i i focus myself only on those things that this is yeah. my customer and i am going to i i have to try this deal and i have to make that kind of content which is going to monetize and uh, yeah that's how i'm i'm having consistent sales only from 100% one 100% loved it uh, and yeah like i truly agree on the point because you know not only i could relate to you obviously i saw you from the initial start to where you are at the moment and i remember you know kind of like when we are having conversation and you if something that that gave you the positive outcome and also the negative outcome you were like kind of like posting it on story like it's yeah. happening on real life like uh, to, to the moment like it was something like that it was to the moment but it was the part of the content uh, structure initially i want to get your thoughts on something that might attract or detract most of the people out there especially if they're beginners and i want to uh, you know understand your thoughts or your mindset now at this moment initially in the initial start uh, the comparison factor what do you think about in general attraction marketing uh, like and what i mean by that is is uh, influencing people out there only with the income screenshot is something that is more than enough for people to get customers or or is that alone is attraction marketing like what do you think is the kind of results that people should go in and share on their post as a content to get more people out there in general without being like how you know the only post they have are income screenshots but the way they also the like income screenshots actually because i saw a lot of people they invest just by watching the income screenshot and then get anything and they start feeling mm-hmm. like now i help somebody else who is going like better than us so uh, the content should be structured around that i made this thing and now i have to tell people that how i did that mm-hmm. so like the value uh, with testimonial with this income screenshot you should add some you should attach value uh, and then so that people can find like you follow the process it's not a magic because people mostly consider this that something magic is happening and uh, people are getting results and i'm also get, will get results and after two or three days and they started saying why i'm not getting leads why i'm not getting cl- uh, clients like you how you are getting clients now like that i just posted like 20000 dollar thing uh, and people start asking me like what is the formula what is the formula like you have to see that i am posting from last four to five months on a daily basis i am connected mm. to people on a daily basis it's a process so yeah this is the thing as a beginner what actually people uh, before jumping into this thing i was on a, uh, actually not, not around those people in the beginning those are only posting income screenshot so that yep. was actually a positive thing because um, if i post now i started uh, posting other kind of content i used to do this to uh, income screenshot with actually how i made that 
but mm-hmm. i was not around those people who just made uh, who, who their content is only you know income screen or income screen short so uh so i don't relate to those people because i know and when when i jump into those things there is nothing like we there's not a process and on, only a proper process can make us consistent sales like after two or three sales if our if our business is nothing like we are not making sales then what is the point of having our business so yeah mm-hmm. and for some people out there who might be like watching uh especially this question that was kind of a controversial question and uh, uh honestly if like someone who actually do that and only do that without posting any sort of content they might be like oh you know they have been i'm not pinpointing anyone uh, for for asking these type of question but this is something that is important for the newbies to understand because mostly yeah. they get attracted by watching people just making money and they're posting that but what fatma said and i want to revise that again so people could understand that more clearly is if you're showing people how you actually did that rather than like be like hey you know i made this much you can make it too like a uh, comment down below reply to this story blah 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 and if that is your only piece of content it is something like you now not going to go further to one point or one limit because there is no consistency to it and there is no results on a person for you to no so yeah no results so like at this point like whatever you learned so far if you lose everything okay like your whatever you earned so far there but the only thing you have is your knowledge what is something out there that you might to do different rather than you what you did in the initial start four months back but what was something out there that now with your knowledge only is something that you're going to do different now uh like i also wasted like people consider it that i didn't struggle i did that i i struggled for like one and a half month actually but that was not actually a struggle it was my learning period the thing yeah. i want to change at that time was that um the content structure maybe because i was not very really focused on that that is going to make a slow a strong impact on people and i can really relate to people and people can relate to me through my content or maybe the uh, prospecting strategy i will change that because that that is so frustrating if we if we keep keep on texting people you keep on asking them to buy your product so i want to change that completely because if you build content if you are if you are the the day one if you are focused on your on building authority credibility mm-hmm. then you don't have to do that and that you it, it the point will come ultimately uh, that people will ask you that how you are doing this stuff because yeah, uh, start doing these things from the day one because i saw a lot of people even <laughs> some of my students as well they do this thing this they, they, they are so they want so quick results okay like results will come but there's a process like after two or three days you can't make that you can't make that happen and people will not connect with you people will not resonate with you people and until and unless you you just go and uh, sell it to your friends and family okay you will mm. just get sales only with like that otherwise there's this is not an option so uh, on or also on facebook like growth is slow we have we we on uh, because i my, my main business is on facebook actually so we forget the word organic like we are growing organically we have to like move step by step so that's going to make us definitely going to make us money too but also the value value thing is so misunderstood content like there is a lot of things which are so so bad in content thing people post value content with the intention of sale and these are so boring posts nobody want to read that mm. number one thing and or otherwise people start, like this is the two mistake copying thing and this value content thing when you when you relate this content with your stories you don't have to prospect people you just need to engage with different stuff and you will get leads you will get commissions and uh, sales 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 consistent sales mm. consistent sales <laughs> okay loved it loved it 100% so like during that particular time right now you know you've made over $25000 within 4 months which is which is absolutely crazy you know especially moving on to that part obviously you've learned from a lot of people out there in general coaches as well different types of investments in different programs and you know different set of mindset i want to talk about in terms of publishing you know you've published and I, and this is specifically for people out there who are who are living in especially third world countries living in asian countries out there who are you know you have the frictions to publish just because 
kind of like they are not allowed to or or they are like ah oh, you know they just don't want to they are camera shy like there are multiple reasons you know people who are living in third world country can probably relate to it how kind of like uh, you know you were able to break those stereotype and were, was able to publish on camera and and as far as i know you weren't doing that in the past yeah uh, if i'm correct i, I saw you doing yeah. that for the first time initially so so like how you broke those stereotype for yourself and later on started to motivate other people out there as well to do the very first especially video lives as well uh actually i didn't have any option i knew that these things are not working only posting emotional or uh, yeah. inspirational content this is not working for me so i thought like i should do this because i made a video i sent it to you when i made my first video and i wanted to post that but i was not liking that because yeah. i thought that it is so fake <laughs> so that's why i came, i started to doing live because i i thought like what like what maximum going to happen people will dislike me people will like i will for, I, i'm going to forget anything everything on camera what maximum going to happen but i want to exp, uh, you know do that maybe this is this is the thing which is holding me back from you know growing in this business because i saw a lot of people wh- whoever uh, like is successful in this business most of the ta- most of the people they are ma- making some kind of video content like if you yeah. are making if, you, if your content is show so somebody is doing like uh, live other things so video content is so powerful and that's how so many people relate to me and they actually know me from that video content that i am from pakistan i was earning 80 dollars a month and then like they listen to me and then they taking me seriously because before that they were not taking me seriously uh, whatever i i was uh, asking them like i will give you accountability value blah 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 yeah. they they have to see you say your presence and you can publish content i don't know camera shy because not about third world country there are many other people they say that we don't look good in camera yep. we are not here to look good <laughs> so so yeah that's how i started with that and it really worked for me within 17 days i made my first high ticket sale so then i just stick to that i think i not i don't post on a daily basis but i do post that now as well like after 4 5 months yeah 100% and that's so true some people just don't forget or just don't put on the line like how much important it's actually is for them to go and publish on camera rather than having these like certain sort of objections and i and i, yeah. and I really appreciate how you actually went on and you know started to do live with you know kind of like covering your face out there like not having that objection like you have to show your face just to be on the live yeah. again kind of like a stereotypes most of the people have uh, in general doesn't matter where they are living in but the way you've done that was was absolutely crazy so that was absolutely yeah. awesome so do you think people are, yeah. i want to mention one thing as well here yeah. mm-hmm. that people at the beginning they used to say me that you will get sales when you you know remove this niqab and hijab you know yeah. you will do this without covering this face so yeah. i thought like i don't com- like this is my comfort zone and i made sales with that too people actually thought like their thought processes that we have uh, the only limiting belief is camera shy and camera fear there are many limiting beliefs if this is a small portion when you cover this yep. then there is a lot more thing to learn so you have to learn a lot so this is just a small thing on your business so i guess this is this should not stop us nothing should stop us yeah 100% you have to understand what is the consequence of you not doing those things yeah if you think about those things then you can be able to go and overcome those things so with all of these aspect and after starting your business 4 months back and where you are at this moment like what's the next goal for you right now you know we're probably like uh one month left for a new year of the new goals new resolutions all of those things but at this moment what's the next thing for you and next focusing thing for you in general uh building my coaching business <laughs> i just launched my coaching program i want to be a good coach fatima so mm-hmm. coach because fatima. i <laughs> so i want to do the, that and also like i have certain plans but i'm working on that i'm thinking of it that how can i you know 
will because there are also very so much loopholes in different frame, framework and when yeah. i because when they uh, act on that when they apply that the time was different now we yeah. have to add certain thing we have uh, and also uh, the one thing which do, why people are not making that kind of money is that the lack of passion people like they do think for one or two months and then they they lost passion they don't think that this is going to work they lost interest yep. and they just keep on asking one or two or many people actually that how i'm going to make money how you are making money kindly tell me this how you are making money kind how how can somebody tell you if they have invested a lot of money in that and how they can going to tell you this thing for yeah, free and also the freebie thing like why why we, how, if you want people to give you money but you don't want to invest money so i don't understand this thing and i'm just working on that to ma make my better framework so i can help more my students and uh, like more clients as well whatever what is going to be like how i'm going to structure my i'm working on actually structuring my coaching program uh, group coaching one on one like in a better way uh, removing all that loophole so uh, i can help more better and also to my I, I can also grow myself as well because i know that there are some things which is not working nowadays okay yeah. uh, maybe they have you know many program they have structured in 2020 2019 the time was different that was the beginning of covid everybody was jumping into online space but now people know that what is fake what is scam so you have to think very smart Hmm. Hmm. That that is absolutely awesome, and I really wish you best of luck for whatever you are doing right now, whatever you are optimizing, where you are heading to right now. So at this time, where people can find about you, follow you, and be the part of your world. On my profile. <laughs> so so I'm gonna so I'm gonna post up the uh, profile URL yeah. of Atma uh, in the comment section down below, so you guys can follow him up, uh, follow her up. You know, send her for a request. Uh, be the part of her world. She's awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much, Padma, for being on the show. Uh, any last thing that you want to say before we round the show up? Thank you to you too, actually, uh, because uh, as if I'm not, I don't think so that I'm gonna. Uh, I will join. The, no, I I have joined this space if I've not found you, because I wanted some Pakistani person to be in this space before me, and I can learn from that person. So thank you to you. And good luck to everybody. Stay consistent. Whatever you are doing, try to do good things. And uh, stop and say no to shiny object syndrome. Because I have, I have, I met lot of lot of people. They joined certain like certain program just due to this thing that yep. they saw screenshots, and they join. And then they say after fourteen days, nobody is uh, replying us. Nobody is. Uh, giving us any knowledge they are busy so try to make smart decisions in the beginning because beginning is super super important your foundations matter so 100 100 yeah so, 100%, 100%. Yeah. so otherwise too. frustration yeah otherwise frustration well Fatma, thank you so much again for being on the show uh and thank you so much guys for watching on we're definitely gonna do another interview this week because this was an exclusive interview it's gonna be crazy and again Fatma, thank you so much and we're definitely gonna see you guys in the next episode until then bye, -bye.